when he has held it today, so let's hope it doesn't interfere with the sound, because if you do a, a vlog, the minimum you can expect is to be understandable, is it? Uh, today we saw something strange and weird. We went up on the road. There's a totally blue sky, as you can see behind me. And in that blue sky we saw one little black cloud, and I mean just a very tiny little black cloud. And then we took a curve and get back to the point and we still saw that one tiny little black cloud way up in the sky. And then some, some trees came up and the road continued. And guess what? When we cut past those trees the little black spot was gone. The little black cloud. And that makes you wonder. Is this some technology that the government is using to hide a helicopter or whatever? Seem to be too far away actually. Another option that we got is this is some kind of foreign technology. Hiding a spaceship that is covering itself by that little cloud so they can still look what the heck we are doing. Makes you wonder, is it? You only have to look up in the sky and see all those stars. Especially with the night vision we got nowadays, you can see there are not a billion stars, there are even more than that. I mean, there are so many stars, you cannot even imagine that anyone out there might be able to see us. That's how small we are compared to the enormous amount of stars. Our sun is actually a really small, tiny piece of light in the sky compared to most of the stars that we can see from here. Another thing is, of course, that what we see coming is so old that the light that actually reached us it has been on their way for thousands, millions of years. It makes you wonder why the hell anyone would be interested in a little piece of rock in the air that's called Earth. The only thing that could be is that they actually brought us here, that they knew about it. But who can tell? I can't. I only know that when I look up in the sky and I see this with this nice third generation night vision, I can see satellites flying by. I can also see little jumpers as they call them. Little lights that go from one star to another star with a speed that's unmeasurable. Not the speed of light of course, but it's so fast that we will never be able to do it. At least not with the technology that we have right now. A couple of nights ago we looked up in the sky, we were there with two guys with two of those beautiful night vision gears and we looked up in the sky and we saw this little tiny point speeding up from left to right, getting back and somewhere in the middle of my vision at that moment I saw like a little puff coming out, a little smoke or whatever and it disappeared in the distance. Is that something we create or is that something that has been created by, you got it, call it aliens. That's another question that I got, why the hell did we never get back to the moon? We had the technology, we've been there, but we never went back. Is there a reason for it? I can imagine that if a government is interested in whatever we can get out of there or even making there a base so we had a point to jump to other planets in our star system, that it would be very clever to put a base on the moon. But no, they didn't. They went there, got back, and that's it. Why? Did we actually get there? I don't know. Capricorn 1, I don't know if you know the movie, but they let you see that you can also hoax things. You can actually make people believe that you get to the moon and you never get there. Maybe that is what happened, I don't know. Or maybe when we got to the moon we got a warning, don't do this again, stay the hell out of here. Some of the astronauts, especially the guy that stays up in the ship that was not going down, he claims that there were little things flying around him. He also claims that when they got to the back side of the moon, the dark side, they actually saw something that might be a base. Is that the reason why we never got back? Could be. I mean, let's be realistic, if I'm an alien and I got my base up there and I'm hiding on the dark side of the moon, I don't want anyone to show up there. 
And if I'm an alien and I'm the one that is helping the people to do the things they do nowadays, it might be a good idea to keep the people away from the moon because you don't want someone living in your front garden, is it? That's weird. These are things that I like to think about, like to discuss with friends and that is why I put it also on YouTube. Because I hope people will watch this thing and start discussing it with me and say, hey, I saw things. What the hell did you see? Did you get abducted by aliens? I would not be surprised actually if people really got abducted by aliens because they wanted to see how we develop. If we are put down here thousands of years ago from different planets to mix it up and see how things would work out if we could live together on one planet, our DNA might have changed and it might be for the ones who put us there very interesting to see how we have developed. Did our bodies, our DNA change? Did it change according to what we need here? Could be. It's a question that I keep open because I haven't got a clue. The only thing I can do is think, discuss things with other people and see what they come up with. Sometimes it's a very plausible conclusion They say this is for me a clear thing. For me it's clear that we're not alone. There's no doubt about it in my mind that we are not alone. No matter what you want to do, what you want to think, no matter what religion you got, you have to admit that when you look up in the skies, the thought of being alone, I wouldn't say it's insane, but at least it's stupid. That's what I want to keep it for now. I think seven minutes is enough. I hope you like to read, listen and respond to this. Please be so good and put under your YouTube for one thing. If you like it, give me a few stars. And another thing is, if you like it, let me know what you like about it. And if you don't like it, let me know that too, because I really like to hear from you. This is my blog about the possibilities of aliens. Simply, I did it right away after I got home, seeing this little black tiny cloud hanging up in the sky and disappearing just as fast as it got there. Have a good one. Think about it. We're not alone.